Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well we put together this little e-commerce site with a fantastic Divi theme. All kind of features on there. I thought it'd be nice to add uh, some social share buttons to the side here so that people look at one of your pages or your products they can click on it and share it. Something similar to I've got on my blog site here. So if they go to something and they like what they see, they can share it on their social media site. Simple as that. So let's get started. To do this today, we're going to use a plugin. And if you're using the Divi theme, you've built this site the same as I have. Uh, you already own this plugin. It's part of the, the, the suite that you get when you buy Divi here. And it's called Monarch. So you can download it from uh, where you downloaded your Divi theme. So let's go to our plugins page and add a new plugin. And once you've got it downloaded, I'm going to hit the upload plugin button and I'm just simply going to drag it across and drop it right by the button there. Once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And there we go, it's pretty lightweight, so it, it uh, installs and activates pretty quickly. You can either go to the settings page here, or if you go down to tools, you'll find Monarch settings there also. Either one will get you to the same place. Okay, and it is so simple to set up. I'd, I'd like a sidebar. I'm not going to use inline or pop-ups or fly-in. These are just other options for you. So I'll leave that checked on sidebar. Now let's decide what networks we want to add. Simply hit the Add Networks button. I guess we'll have Facebook, Twitter. There is no Google Plus anymore, I don't believe. Pinterest. Reddit. LinkedIn. Is there MySpace still? I didn't know that existed anymore. Uh, blogger and Tumblr those will do for me so I hit the apply button and there they are if you want to change the names you can do so right here but I'm happy with that uh, if we move on down let's save our changes and move on down to sidebar which is what we've got I've selected the sidebar you can choose your icon style I usually use that one but Let's mix it up I'll use this one today and you can also choose your icons shape there's a regular square there's a square with slightly rounded corners there and there's a round one obviously you can decide whether you want your sidebar or sidebar on the left or the right which way it intros in you can decide whether to display share counts total shares all networks and you can add spacing to the icons if you don't want them sitting on top of each other you can hide it on mobile devices it's great on mobile devices it usually just pops up from the bottom they can hit it and make it disappear so it's not too intrusive if you want to match the color settings with something on your site just check that and add your color here and you can have custom color icons i want mine to actually appear everywhere so i'm going to check all these are home page posts pages projects and products so i'll save those changes and we're pretty much done there's not much to it and it's really handy if you want to add social follow, follow you can do I don't need to do inline pop-up or fly-in because we're just using sidebar styles so I think we're ready to go let's just save our changes now let's go back to our site and refresh let's get back up to the top And there's our little sidebar really easy to do like I say you can click on it and share it seem to be missing the Facebook one I guess I didn't check on it but that's fine let's check it works should log me into my Twitter yep that's fine and if you're not logged in it'll ask you for your username and all that to log you in but if you use it on the same computer on the t all the time on your home computer it'll also keep you logged in and it's great it's another way of getting the word out about that 
So there you have it. There's how to add some social media share buttons to the side of your website using the fantastic Monarch plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.